Good morning, this is Diane. I am so excited. My kitchen project is about 75% done. I have to finish with the trim and make the doors, but I made um, new storage in the kitchen. Today I'm going to take a bunch of food that I freeze dried last year and they've been safely tucked away in Mylar bags, but I need to put them in jars because it's impossible to sort through the bags and it's hard to get to the ingredients. So here is a video of me uh, jarring the items and uh, sealing them. Check it out. Good morning. I'm gonna do a demonstration because I'm working on this kitchen project. Um, I have a lot of freeze dried food that I need to jar and, and be able to store in my new cabinets. Um, I've had them in Mylar bags and they were sealed. This is uh, freeze dried russet potatoes with skins. And what I do is I just get a standard uh, mason jar, wide mouth with the lid. And then I have my food saver. And I bought these attachments years ago and I'm glad I did. I'm gonna go ahead and seal that. Now uh, the vacuum stops when it has vacuumed. There's also a desiccant packet in here as well. Uh, normally with freeze drying, if you wanna keep them for years, you put uh, an O2 packet in it that keeps oxygen out of it. But um, this is great for soups or if I just wanted to do some potatoes. But that is how I seal up my freeze-dried food. Uh, I did all this food last summer, and some of you might say, ew, gross, because this is uh, July 27th, 2022. But I had this, uh, it's tomato and juice. I'm taking them out of these Mylar packs because I don't have room to store the Mylar. But I do have room to store these jars. So I'm taking every jar I own, and I am repackaging it. And this is so beautiful. This is the uh, chopped, uh, I got these from Costco. They're the chopped diced tomatoes. Okay, they are these Kirkland Organic diced tomatoes. And um, I freeze dried them. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Look at how cute and tiny they are. I'll just put one in that one, which is a plank. Here are my two different uh, jars. This is a regular uh, mouth and this is a wide mouth. And I have two attachments. And then I usually just put these rings on just because that'll keep them on if they ever lose their seal, but they never do. And I'm putting on labels. So I'd like to know what's inside and how old they are. These are my favorite labels. They are uh, commercial food service, dissolvable labels, and you can get them on Amazon. They work great. Just a little bit of water and they just wash right off. These are really fun. Uh, freeze dried pumpkin pie bites. Picked them up last year in August, cut them up, and the pie was on sale. So it was maybe 250. But I'm gonna go ahead and put these in this resealable container. I don't know, this might be too, too big. But they're so good. How we'll store these and then we can keep eating these. One of my favorite things, I get the um, rotisserie breast white meat from Costco and I freeze dry them. I'm not gonna put these in a, in a jar because this actually needs to be vacuum sealed or else it will go uh, bad really quick. This is September 6th last year, but I know that I can just open this up, take some chicken out, add it to soup or whatever, or make a chicken salad, and it'll just be as fresh as the day I freeze dried it. I used this yesterday, I made some chili, and I remembered that I had this little pint jar of freeze dried bell peppers. So I'll open it up, measured out the the peppers and put it in the chili and it really tasted delicious. It added a lot of a lot of flavor. But this jar is too big. So I'm just gonna put this in this jar. Maybe. Yeah. 
and I'm going to reseal it. It's all right if it kind of breaks it up. I'm going to use the same lid and I'm going to take it over to my food saver with the jar attachment, jar lid attachment and seal this. And I'm back and here is the seal. Perfect. Nice and tight in there. I'm going to go ahead and put this ring on and then I just saved a little space and uh, I can use this again. Hey, I'm going to run to Ace because I ran out of jars. Actually, I need to look downstairs because I know I have a cache of those. I'll be right back. Holy moly, I did not need to go and buy jars. I've got lots, lots and lots. So I'll go ahead and sort these through, wash the ones that need to be washed, and I'll keep going. top of course I have to put um, doors on my cabinets but here's my beautiful and very very practical freeze-dried food have a great day but it's also well I'll wait <laughs> 